it going? Um, anyways, we're ready. One, two, three. Hey guys, it's Anna. And like, do I look is like? it like focused? And we're back with another YouTube video. Uh, if you hear a shot, then you take a me. Cause if it's some stress there's no question, I'm a ride. Just conceal my identity. I just read a YouTube question. My request, okay. you hear it, that I died. How many celebrities have you guys been down? I bet you heard of me. What did you look like? like what was her Why did I literally have been like doing our homework since what 2 30? Yeah, like 2 30, just straight hours of homework. Finished chemistry today. Well, actually, we could take the quiz, I kind of want to. And then we finished with public speaking for the whole week, which was good. Cram that shit into like three hours. Anybody else do that? But it is the twin talk it is gonna be like this new series we're gonna be starting here we're just gonna be let me pop this up it's are gonna be our new series that we're gonna be starting on it's, youtube it's, it's like random it's not yeah. gonna be like just like weekly. every once in a while when we just be like you know we need to catch up we need to one to one we need to spill the tea spill and the talk. tea yeah just catch up like it's literally gonna feel like we're on facetime grab your food because we're gonna be eating too and we're gonna hear fucking lexi's annoying ass she always chews like that, and I hate it. It's so fucking annoying. I apologize. I genuinely think to this is what I'm Not to me. <laughs> not to me. <laughs> Anyways, Anna and I went to Trader Joe's for the first time, and it was nice. Don't get me wrong, but, like, oh, I saw this TikTok, and it was, <laughs> it was like, me going in and Trader Joe's knowing I have to go into another grocery store after, because she's like, I went in, and I got pumpkin mustard, even though I need a regular mustard. <laughs> and so, I don't know. We went in there, Dev got some snacks, and we also got all this, like, frozen Indian food because we keep seeing people, like, try it. Like, the Trader Joe's stuff and just Indian food in general. So we were like, I bet. So we got it. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to just cook it all up, and we're going to eat it. Um, I asked on... On and I both asked on Instagram for y'all to ask us questions, anything that y'all want to have answered we're gonna answer okay it's gonna be juicy lifestyle influencing fitness relationships any just general questions that y'all want to know so we're gonna be going over that yeah sorry i'm trying to do something so just give me a second but um yeah like i said Anna and i just got done with homework i'm literally so hungry so we're gonna be cooking up any everything and anything that we got and i just hope it's good Anna ate the entire bag of freaking crunchy curls that we got her name is like bria brie Mm -hmm. she made cowboy caviar popular well we got a bag of crunchy curls and they're so like mid they taste good does that make sense like they they have such a lack of flavor you just keep eating them and that's what Anna did yeah but uh, enough well actually I'm not gonna say enough chit chat because we're just gonna be talking this entire vlog but um ooh wait y'all next week's video Anna and I are gonna be filming a productive morning routine with tips and how to improve you know your productive productive is product yes productivity and how to just even like where to start when it comes to even making a routine um so we're gonna be doing that next week so stay tuned it's gonna be super relaxing and just you know give you some insight on what we do and some tips that help us look at her in her little corner Anna, come on. I'm trying to do something. I'm going to be able to film on this little baby thing. Hold on. I'm just going to set y'all down. See me better? I think you do. Damn. So, I'm going to show you guys what we got pretty much. Yeah. I... I went to the truck today um, at the U campus and literally everybody there, so nice. It was so fun. Ice cream, bombs. I got my whole fridge. And this one up here, got four pints of this stuff. The pumpkin pie flavor, 360 calories for an entire pint. I would feel better eating an entire pint. <laughs> it was a halo cup. You know, we'll just shit like It's just like better for you in general too because it's like, Less dairy, less like, sugar, you know. So, I mean, um, hopefully this battery does not die on us because that will suck. Yeah. Sorry, I had to get Spotify Premium Student. This is cheaper. <laughs> I forgot. Y'all make, make me 
need to use it. People forget you can use your student discount for literally well, everything. You Apple Music, literally, Spotify, you can literally Google get um, um, literally anything. No, it literally was four ninety nine a month for like I'm I have on my parents Hulu, but four ninety nine for Spotify Premium, Hulu with ads, and somehow like that's like low key a deal. I feel like I need to tilt it up a little bit. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, this is what we got. This is to be honest, all they have. So first thing that we got was butter chicken with um basmati rice i think i'm sorry yeah. if i mispronounce anything it, i think it's basmati uh, yeah basmati rice and then we also got chicken tikka samosas but we didn't they didn't have the sauce so like oh, i know if, like i don't know if it's like bad to like dip them i would in soy, soy. <laughs> but like that's what we're gonna have to do because i feel like i think it's just microwave Oh damn. Okay, wow, whipped up. Yeah. Meat. And then we got um, chicken tikka masala as well with some basmati rice, I believe. The fried rice on the side. And call it a day. Yeah. And then y'all, if you didn't check out our Instagram, we both posted a, a thing where y'all can leave questions and that kind of jazz. So, so I mean, if you want to follow our socials and keep in tour We're all that go ahead and active on you, there yeah. yeah especially instagram like that's where we like chat with you guys daily like on our instagram are you going out story yeah my eyes were but, but um whew, let's just make this food and then we'll sit down and get to the good stuff okay i mean where the fuck should i really even start i got holes that i'm keeping in a the these little green turtles hold on Y'all, I'm air frying the samosas because I feel like that'll be the best way they can turn out. or something crazy okay this is what they're looking like hold on can you see i'll just show you in a minute Like, y'all really done did that. You be asking us a, a bunch. So, we're just gonna be kind of all over the place. We don't have this organized. We're just gonna. We also got some frozen. Well, not frozen. Just Devin and I made homemade pizza. It from was good. Our date it night. And it was really good. You didn't, we should have got, like, some type of, like, garlic naan. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's just so good. Okay, anyways, this is what we got played in. Let me show y'all. It's exactly how we like we got it in LA, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Now we don't got nothing. It's to got dip. a little cook to it. We don't got nothing to dip the samosas in, so we're just gonna. Mm. These are good. So should we start with the questions? These are good. Oh. Mm. Okay. One of the first questions I got was what's like your makeup routine? Which like I I don't know. I don't be a really good person to ask because she has this whole set routine for skincare and makeup. I kinda just follow in suit. But like we don't really do like a whole lot for that. I mean if I'm going out or taking pictures, I'll do like the tiniest bit of mascara on my outer um, I just because I don't really like mascara, bronzer, blush, and concealer. If I'm just like going to school, I'll do concealer and blush because I love blush. Mm -hmm. So, so really, that one, 
not really juicy to start off. Probably with. anticlimactic, but um, that said, what's your favorite move movie genre? No, it's not juicy. I know. I just I just something juicy. We well, start mine's rom coms. I like horror movies. So, what would you do if you caught your boyfriend cheating? <laughs> like caught, caught, or like found out? Because I feel like I would have two different reactions. But I also feel like they would be the same. It's really hard because honestly, like, it's not even something that I think about or consider or have like a worry about because I feel that stable in my relationship. But I probably would just like dip out the life, like lock, no contact, like no, no explanation, same. nothing. Like I owe you absolutely nothing after that. Yeah. I would probably do the same. Just go off the grid. I would probably do the same. I'd just be like super self-focused. Not that I'm like not already, but like at the same time. Not like just to get it out of the way. Just to get it out of the way. Um, like the girlies are fine when they be asking questions. But when guys ask questions, it's all about OnlyFans. And that's to put it simple. It's not gonna. It's happen. never gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Never. I know there's so much money in OnlyFans, but like it's, I just well, can't. Like, I and just, no shame to sex workers. Like, do what you do. Monetize the fact that you're over sexualized by men, and like as a girl, well, you could you, never. Well, no, because literally, because literally, monetize the sexualization that you're already getting yeah yeah period yeah okay. it's just it's just something that we don't want to do at one point we were pressured a lot to do it um but we like stood our ground we were like no we we're like no mm -hmm. so just to get that out the way because it's just no don't ask what let me show y'all what really happened in la was shooting for routine mm -hmm. let me show y'all Um, I think we can. I think we can do. We felt extremely uncomfortable when we were down there. It was shoots that were like all day, like all day. We would get there at like nine. No one would show up till 11, but they would tell us we have to be there by nine. So we'd be sitting around and we're in like this new city wanting to explore. That like kind literally of thing. the first time in a lane, like I swear to God, like the first like hour and a half of every single day we sat we sat we nothing i would have to like ask hey like can we go get lunch or whatever like there would there just was no like itinerary almost not that there needs to be but like i should get lunch i, I want to eat i don't care if i'm in a swimsuit i want to eat also there was the a lot of there, there was a lot of issues with cleanliness. cleanliness there'd be like blood and like discharge on some of the swimsuits which y'all need to be throwing those away if you're giving those to the same models because i guarantee you like but yes they have panty liners, but like still, I don't want to be putting a panty liner yeah. over a dirty used and pair. Be, of and it happened more than once to her. Be like, I'm not. It was like three times to you. And I'm like not twice to me. Putting this on because there's literally blood on the line, on the panty line where it's supposed to go on me, and like that's just not okay. That's not professional. That's not cleanly. I, there's so many things that are wrong with that. Also with like sizing too. I swear to God, they only had like it small was extra, and extra small. small. I'm like they had small and extra small. I'm not like, a. I'm not extra small inclusive. in the bottoms. I maybe a top I could squeeze into, but even for me, that's itty bitty baby. Like that's not covering it did nothing. Not it did not cover anything, and it's not flattering. I'm sitting here and something's digging into my skin. Also, the fact that like yes, there were some girls there, but like mainly it was just on and I. And the it was guys taking pictures of us. Like and imagine we how uncom imagine how uncomfortable. I was told things that literally no girl should be ever told. Like they were very inappropriate and unprofessional i don't care what the setting was and you know we expressed this um tried to like keep us separated for like the most part too and like the women that we like met with they were nice but it just it wasn't a clean setting it wasn't professional and we just felt very uncomfortable and we just got out of the situ situation right away we didn't even stay the whole time yeah. no we literally did it and they their response to it too was not good as well like they pretty much kicked us out of the house that we were staying in and so we had to find elsewhere like it was just like i'm really glad we were able to stand up for ourselves and like Cause get after out of that because not everyone can. After the first day, literally, Anna and I were crying. Like, we were crying. We did not like LA after that. Like, we just had a really bad mindset on it. I didn't like it. We both didn't enjoy it. It made, us, cried. It made us scared to, like, work with other brands as well. And, like, thank God 
We had the best experience with Abel. Literally, that was like a bajillion times better. Wow. Also, why do Poutine, they have all this money? Why do we literally fly spirit? Like, come on now. <laughs> literally such a good experience with Abel and we are so glad to be able to like work with a brand that actually is professional and they were very organized and, organized and, and, nice. Nice. and they were always checking up on us to treat like, us the way that like we should have been treated mm -hmm. it's like no that's just so that's the tea we don't really know if we could say it but I feel like it's been long enough and I feel like you know what people need to know like I don't want to be all hush hush about it especially if like they're flying out these girls like just because they look good and are willing to post in the bikini i'm like says how do you eat clean and stay consistent with eating clean y'all we don't we don't we don't track nothing we well, don't say that we don't i feel like since we've moved we've been really good with like buying healthy foods well, obviously, just eating whole foods. obviously we look to eat healthy eat whole foods but we're making in nutrition so but by no means do we track or just be consciously aware of like calories and macros and food i just be like more like aware of like trying to get in full meals for me like i try to eat like three full meals a day and then snack here and there but it's not like i binge snack i binge eat like don't get me wrong that stuff happens and it's fine you know it's all about balance i mean you want to go out you want to go drink you want to go eat do that but at the same time within moderation yes I balance it out you know have something there have something that you know what i'm saying so like yeah. yes yeah how do you guys budget your money to be honest, we don't do that either. I mean, okay. stop. Yes, we do. I, I do. I, I have a whole thing in my. I have like. A, I don't like, lie. No, I, I don't do. Lie. I'm not lying. I literally budget like my shit in my notes app. I just didn't want to say the notes app in case somebody saw my phone. But like the notes app, I literally track all my monthly expenses that I have. I track all the things that I can like write off, and I track like how much money I made, etc. Like I, I don't budget budget, but like I do have like. An area where I know not to fucking cross. Otherwise, my yeah. ass is gonna be broke. I wouldn't say I track either. I'm just like con consciously aware of my spending. Don't so lie. I'm not. Don't lie. I have to know. I'm not. Mean, you are. You are. Amazon doesn't count. So y'all need to shut, shut the fuck up about it. Because it literally doesn't count like, what word all my packages come from. Amazon. For most of my expenses, I have. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We just had Indian. Basically, I have auto pay set up for most of my expenses. So after that's taken out, I kind of see with what I'm left over. And then I'll put like a chunk of it into my savings. So do you budget like spending money? Yeah. Yeah, I would say I'm like, okay, like here's what I have to spend. Because like if I put it in my savings, I'm not touching it. If I paid with cash, I didn't spend anything. But I never you know have I mean? cash on me. I did when I was looking at Applebee's and I was racking up tips. What are the goals that you have outside of social media and fitness? I feel like that's such a good question because I feel like I've never asked that. One of my, I know Lexi and I's goals are to get a degree. So that is probably the closest one. I also want to be a homeowner one day. Part of me wants to like get my master's in some degree. Like I just feel like I'm very prideful and like I just want to flex and I would do it if I set my mind to it. Have kids, be like have a family, have I'm in an internal debate with kids. We'll get on to me next. <laughs> um yeah, so pretty much I want to be educated, family oriented, healthy. Um I also want to like pick up like more hobbies. Cuz I feel yeah. like I go through hobbies. Like literally Bo, literally Bo's been through it. Like I went through this painting hobby where I, I literally would just paint stuff. I specifically paint cartoons. I painted him a picture of Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys that he has in his room. Like you can see it in the TikToks we do in his room. I went through a painting phase. Like I'm very, um, I would say like artistic. Like I, I like to draw. I like art. I, I'm pretty like, I'm decent. Like I'm not bad at it. Like I could draw something if you, like I really put my mind to it. Anyways, um, like Anna said, like I, I want to be a homeowner as well. Um, Wealthy. I want to be, yeah. I want to be successful. Like successful. I, I want to be like, if it's a possibility, literally financially free, I, that's like way beyond me. Yeah. That's like something that I would dream of. But, um, I just want to be comfortable. Yeah. Is a good way to put it. And, um, the, and now if, if y'all don't know, like, 
that's like another reason why I just feel so grateful because I like Lex and I would literally not be able to be here without like we like, were for literally real. working like I was literally working like overtime at Speedway we up were until working, like, like March 50 60 hours full time we'd go to school we'd go to the gym and then we would literally work a six eight hour shift at Speedway late at night like was it fun yes but like y'all really we'll get into that because I got some qu- I got some people asking questions about some Speedway stuff but that was like. Like, that's what we were doing. We have had a job since we were 15 and could work. Not even 15. We worked at freaking Monsanto when we were 13. God, yeah. I hated that. But since we were 13, and then after that, it was, yeah. We just had 13. a bunch of different jobs. But my parents, like, they're not paying for anything. And so, like, that is so nice for us. But, like, not only them, too, because they have four children. And yeah. <laughs> Let's hit a fitness question. Um. What did we look like before we started going to the gym? We'll insert some pictures. I like was fairly small when I started working out. Like I'm 5'7". I was like 135 pounds. Very minimal muscle. I mean, we played basketball. We did lots of cardio. I was in soccer. Like I was just like, I, I call myself a string bean in that picture compared to where I'm at now. Like I'm like 155 right now. I feel like we like sprouted because I was a chunk when I was little. Oh my god, why is she making me burp? <laughs> I was a chunk when I was little and like growing up and then we hit puberty and I would say that's when like genetics came to play and we stretched out because yeah, up until like, because I would say that I hit puberty late too, like probably freshman year of high school, sophomore year of high school because I was just like a little lard pretty much <laughs> and then I grew and I stretched out. And but even with that, I feel like people need to take, like, when they're watching anybody in the fitness industry, you need to take into account, like, which gen- genetics, anybody, because mm-hmm. everybody's genetic makeup is different, so therefore their genetics are going to affect their fitness history, like, anybody you watch, genetics play a role like, in, and I feel like yeah. people, like, you know, how your body responds builds. to, you know, working out and building muscle versus someone else, like, that's just, yeah. that's just what it is. And, so. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, Anna and I are twins, like, our genetic makeup is the same, like, we, we have have a, like similar workouts and we do similar things but like at the end of that day if you like look at our like body and like the muscle development it is different like yeah. Anna's always had more muscle than me like I'm literally still trying to catch up and I don't know if I ever will she's just always been stronger than me but at the same time I just want y'all to like make that known Anna and I have never capped on the fact that genetics play a role we're just here to like show you what we do you know like not a lot of people know where to start and we're just here to help you so yeah. that's the point of influence the influence is like inspiration they get what they get the gist i just read a juicy question message to your haters that you went to high school with <laughs> would there be people okay i'm gonna make this now i don't want to say if there's any haters i would just say people switched up yeah, because I would say before social media started, like, I mean, especially senior year, we kind of, like, backed away. Yeah, we definitely really distanced ourselves from not only, like, but we were, like, online, too, doing, like, college classes, so we, like, backed away from, you know, our school. Like, I would say senior year, when we all, when we had those senior activities, it was just kind of weird. No, like, it's There's not. There's one person, two people in our grade, that Beth and Emily. Yeah, Beth and Emily. Beth and Emily. <laughs> that was the same, but why did they get dinner? I don't know. Are tripping? Um, yeah, other than that, like, everybody else, I suppose we really didn't care for, and they didn't really It's not that we didn't care for, it's just we weren't close. We didn't care to socialize with. Like, well, yeah, because senior year is what you make it, and I didn't want to make anything of it, so. Yeah, we were just trying to, like, I was ready to get out. We were, yeah, we were looking forward yeah. to college, we were looking forward to going to the, U- like, everything like that. We were looking, f- we had things. We just needed change in every way possible. Like, yeah, so, I mean... And then once, like, social media started to happen, it wasn't so much that people, like, it would be nice to our face, say stuff behind our back, and, like, I never really, I mean, we confronted only, like, two people, but as far as, like, that goes, I don't care. It was just, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What would you say, though? I mean, I probably wouldn't say anything. I would just, they could see me living my best life, you know? They're sitting there with the follow back and watching my (laughs) stories because... (laughs) I, one thing though is like we actually feel bad for our little sister because she be going through it at school. People, are it's a small, rude. small ass town, like small little, super, small little red town to be specific. Which, it, it, although that doesn't matter, being one of the only families of color there, it actually does matter just because of the way people, um, not all, but some people have treated us. And she's really like she needs to get out because. 
That's not it. It's not it. That's not it. But like, honestly, I want to say anything because like, like in the beginning when we first started blowing up, we wouldn't say anything online. I wouldn't say nothing online, but I'd be <laughs> posting. On, I was posting on my Snapchat because I was fed up with people. People were trying to come at us sideways. This was a big racial issue that was happening while this was going on, and I said some stuff about it. We talk, both did. We both did, and people were getting mad. I'm like Nate. I could have said your name. You could name, but I didn't because I knew better. I well, was I just talking about how I that. felt. I was talking about how I felt, and you can't tell me how I'm supposed to feel about a situation. No, exactly. And like another thing we had is. I be like, well, not everyone's racist. Did I say you were racist? We're talking about some people that treated me poorly and I was hurt and offended by it and I was just vocalizing how I feel. I had a platform and I wanted to let others who might be in a similar position know that they're not alone. And they're like, well, not everyone. Did I say you were? If it's not about you, don't make it that way. People are just going to talk this talk and it's, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter. Because, like, I don't, like, besides Beth and Emily, I didn't talk to nobody yet. I talked to nobody there. Like, I don't talk to anybody. Like, people say stuff, people comment, that, like, that's that fine. But, like, I don't talk to anybody. There's, like, I want, there's no real beef either. It just, like, kind of sucks because, like, my perspective on, like, a lot of people changed. And I just, like, I also felt like we were genuine people in high school. Why? Well, yeah, we weren't, like, mean girls. We just kind of kept to ourselves and, like, like it I wasn't even in sports, we were fine, that was fun, but like we really didn't have that many friends. Like it wasn't it, it really wasn't. It's very clicky, crazy. very popular, so it's just kinda like you just kinda did your thing and got through it. Yeah. And Lex and I were all like obviously COVID hit and we did PSEO for like two and a half years, so we weren't really in school either. It's just like the switch up from like getting no attention to just a bunch of negative attention and like yeah, I don't know. It's gonna happen wherever you are. It can happen in a work setting, it can happen in college, like it's really not significant to just social media. That just happened to be our case, but mm -hmm. yeah, I hope they live their best life and I'm gonna live mine. <laughs> we get a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions about what we eat. I think we're gonna do like an updated like what I eat in a day. I really want to. That's on our list. We have a list of YouTube video ideas. In the beginning, we were just kind of going based off of like what like our mom bought for groceries, which by any means was no issue. But like now that we can grocery shop for ourselves and make our own meals, I definitely feel like it's changed. Yeah. And especially like I said, our, our major is nutrition. So you know we're getting more informed about you know what a healthy meal is consisted of and etc so i think we're gonna redo that video yeah. so yes. that will be well not redo it but, but like, like updated yeah um i got this question advice for relationships i love when people ask me this because i'm so happy in mine and i would say <laughs> well um I wasn't searching and that's how it found me I did not want to date in high school my boyfriend's a year older than me he was literally going to college like I told him on our first date like hey I don't know what you're expecting from this but like if you don't have the intention of dating that's fine like I wasn't really there for the long ride and I don't know if he was either but it worked out really well and here we are almost two years later so I would just say make sure you have standards make sure you don't settle don't be like looking. Don't be like, oh, I want a boyfriend. I, I want, want a boyfriend. boyfriend. I, want I want a boyfriend. boyfriend. Like you need to love. Oh, and number one, you need to love, love yourself first before you can, you can love anybody else. Yeah. You gotta love yourself, especially unconditionally. Because if you're expecting to like not get the ick from whatever, you need to not get the ick from yourself too. You need to not be a self hater. Mm -hmm. Like not saying that like I love myself. Like obviously it's a work in progress, but like I love myself enough where I have room in my heart for another person that I can love unconditionally and we can grow together mm -hmm. so you were that well yeah yeah because I would just say like and standards especially to like do not settle do not like your when I when I first started dating him. Devin if something bothered me like if I didn't like I'm obviously blunt as fuck. no I am She's no because I'm not gonna settle for less you know no, 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 I know that but like you be saying stuff to me like oh yeah I can let that slide but then I hear you say it to Devin and I'm like damn she really said that to him like, no because you know what if I feel like hold on. If I, like, feel a certain way, even if I, like, look back on it and be like, oh, maybe I was out of line and we can, like, talk about it or whatever, at least I said it. Like, I, yeah, yeah, true. Because, you know, especially in the beginning, because if you don't set, like, the boundaries that you're not okay with, people are, if you say it later on and be like, hey, I don't like this, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry and do it again because you let them do it once. Like, it's just a whole enchantment. and I feel like it affects your relationship a lot down the line, like, mm -hmm. what you express versus what you don't express so like yeah, yeah that would be what i advise on and i in the beginning i definitely was not rude about it i was just like hey like mm -hmm. moving forward like 
this is what we're not going to do. Okay, I got another question. <laughs> what do y'all do when you're on your period in the gym? And she was talking about how hers hurt and she can't even do anything. Don't Which go. Which I literally don't go. <laughs> <laughs> don't, like, don't go. It's not going to show your progress. Your body is telling you that it does not feel okay. So don't make it do something that it's not okay with, you know? Like, I'm going to get my period soon. I've been cramping oh, week. My doll literally like every other day. And I'm going to tell y'all, if you're cramping so bad that you literally cannot even, like, stand straight, don't go. Or you, you just don't feel like going. You're cramping. You have a headache. If you're not feeling well, don't go. Yeah. Don't push yourself to go because it's not going to make your workout as efficient as it could be. You know? It's, so it's that's what I say to that. Yeah. Like, take care of yourself first. And so one of the Why questions... Being, like, weird about it? One of the questions was, have you made any friends of, um, like color of POC. So my outlook on it is it's kind of hard making friends up here. Obviously like we're mingling a little bit, you know, going on the coffee dates and whatever. We're just, just meeting people. Just meeting people still. Um, I do think us not living in a dorm our freshman year really affects that. Which I feel like in a way you I know kinda, what the dorms don't have AC, so I'm not mad. About I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I missed out on it. But at the same time, when you're in a dorm, I feel like it's kind of like high school in a way as well. Like you're just friends with who you're surrounded by. So I, I don't agree. know. It's it's love hate. But I feel like I feel like if anything, like it's almost like you're finding genuine friends. Yeah. You know. So yeah. like I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, another thing is is like we didn't know that you was a PWR. So like. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a lot more diversity up here, like, it is diverse, but, um, they're, I don't know, they're just, like, struggling because at the same time, like, I don't know, I just it's feel like they're too, no, oh, I get that, I just feel like I don't, like, fit directly in, fit in anywhere, in a, yeah, I just kind of feel like I'm, like, a stick in the mud right now, trying to, like, swirl around, like, oh, my stop. god, do I, like, stop. Can, I, can I fit in with you? No, kind of, yeah. I, Ana and I got a gym pass, so we're hoping to make some, like, friends at the gym, too, low-key. We've also been going out more. So, I think, like, I, I feel like we're, like, we're doing, well. we're doing what we need to be doing. Yeah. It's just definitely hard, because, um, someone, yeah. I'm just trying to make friends. Too. I just like, want to have really a girl matter, group, like, like, I just want to have a girl group, and, like, yes. it says how to, how to stay slash enjoy, how to, how to enjoy your own company without extra friends. I am so good at this. I'm not, I... <laughs> I am so, I feel like you're asking all the questions that are good for you, <laughs> but when it comes to me, it's not it. I want everyone's like, different. This is a good example. Yeah. I feel like this is like, so you give your input first. I feel like this is like, okay, well, I feel like there's a lot of instances where people are like, oh my God, you guys are so similar, but like in reality, like once you get to know us individually, we're not, like we're really not. Obviously, we, we have, have similar interests and in style and everything like that, but like, and we think the same, but like. Like our reactions, reactions might be different. Reaction. Well, actually, not even that. I just say like we're different in certain areas. Yeah. This is one of them. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. Do you want me to respond to it first? No, 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 no. Okay. Anna literally slept over at Devin's. This I'm gonna use this as an example. Anna slept over at Devin's last weekend, and I was here alone for the first time. Um, let's just say I literally spooked myself. Like I was scared. Like I did not like just the presence of me. If that makes sense. And, I mean, that's fine. Like, I've never, like, slept in my own place by myself. Like, I've never had that. I feel like it's definitely an adjustment. I can do things by myself. Like, if I have a list of stuff that I have to do, I can do them by myself. But when I have to be my own company, I'm like... Like, I can make it work, but at the same time, I feel like I just genuinely enjoy, like, even though Anna's, like, I don't need to talk to Anna, I don't need to see Anna, but I know she's in her fucking bed reading... I'm fine. Yeah. Like, I'm fine. Does that make that. sense? No, like, that does. Like, that, I don't know. Maybe you just, that's... It's not even so much that you can't be alone, it's just that you enjoy the company of, like, somebody else better. Somebody's presence. Because I don't know about Bo every single day of the summer. Literally every single day, something this house. But, like, there was literally, like, days on it where, like, I wouldn't even, like, CC him, if that makes sense. He'd be working, and I'd just be editing on my, like, But computer. at the end of the day, you were in the same bed. But... Not even in the same bed, but like he was there. Like I knew he was in the house. I knew he was outside. I knew he was taking us on a walk. I knew he was around me. That so makes sense. But yeah, I would say my thing is I love being alone. I really do. I I've said this before online, and Lexi, like it's honestly probably my motto, but I love laying in bed. Like. I really do. Give me a book. Give me a, a snack. Well, I'll read a book. Give me, like, give me Hulu. Give me Netflix. Give me whatever. Like, I just, I like, I just feel like it's a, like a cleanse. Like, in a way, 
I don't know, I just, it's not even like a social battery, but it's like a, a me needing to be alone battery. Like, I just love a hot shower, like, like just not even talking to people, just being in my own body, and I don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. I just like fucking being alone, like, <laughs> I really do. I genuinely enjoy it, every, especially every once in a while, like, sometimes, like, I was with Devin every single day this summer, and probably one to two days a week, we'd both be like, okay, we need time away. We need time away. Because we, he would work, I would work, and then we would meet up mid-afternoon, we'd be together, and that would be our schedule for, like, the whole week, and then we're like, no, like, we just, we both need space, we both need to, like, do our own thing, be alone, whatever, like, I just like it, and I enjoy, not even, like, I don't even think, like, I'm just doing, I'm just relaxing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I just enjoy <laughs> my right, right. I have a really good question. How many celebrities have you guys turned down, like, in your DMs? <laughs> I just say we can pick one and we'll give, we'll give you, we'll pick one and What? We'll, I don't even want to pick one because I don't even like remember who. I don't really remember who, just, you could say a big one that comes to mind. What's a big one? I don't want to be at people like that. I'm going to add people like that. People ain't slick and some of these people be having a whole ass families and I know we're not being the ones. I I'm going to just say there's been NFL players, there's been NBA players, there's been your favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> been influencers. It's been cool though. Some no, conversations cool. are fun. There's been people, your favorite actresses. I don't know. Actresses and actors. Actors. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was me. Yeah. Her. <laughs> How many celebrities have you guys turned down? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not even like I genuine conversations like oh my god like i literally talked to that person like they're just normal and, like you don't even think about it and then like i freaked out over some people before Set and not even like you. like yeah even like dudes and shit too because i'm like oh my god like i know of this person I, i've like, seen this like, i followed them i watched more. this person on tv <laughs> we're getting too close but no there's so many tv I, shows okay i suppose but yeah it's just like really cool and exciting and yeah, so it's not always it's cool. It's not always like like especially like for all the sports NFL, guys, all the yeah. sports guys. Yeah, I always respond. Well, I I text Bo and I'm like, what should I respond with? And I always come up with some corny ass response. Talk, and they always be like, oh, and it's just funny to see. Like I, when it comes to like sport, like people who are like play professional sports, guys specifically, I always unless they have some other reason for DMing me, which normally yeah. they don't off of base what the they said the first time. I always come up with some like corny ass response, like with Bo. So it's something that it's something yeah. fun that we can do because. Um, I don't know. Yeah. That's just, yeah. Um, um, I'm gonna name one don't of the. You, I'm gonna. No, I'm not. I'm gonna name one of the sports ones just because. I mean, Zion Williams follows you. Anybody can see that. He follows me too. No, that's not what I was gonna say. His like, it's not weird because like we're like close in age, but like some of these old dudes like KD. <laughs> <laughs> ew. Yeah. He, and I'm not ew, but like it's probably like literally right now like watching this on set. No. I would do Baby Keem. Baby Keem wish me a happy birthday. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I want to get some um, ones out of the way, though, just to, like, re-clarify. So, we made her in college. We're both 19. We major in college. I mean, for fuck. Both in college. We're both 19. We both we're moved out of the house at 18. Um, we're nutrition majors, we're 19, we're Leos, if you couldn't already Virgo tell. Rising, did we just figure that out? Yeah, we're Virgo Rising, so we're organizers too, I guess. Oh, someone, someone answered, someone said this, is it okay to cut off toxic family members for good, like cousins, aunts, uncles, etc.? Yes. 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 Love does not make you family. I would probably even say that we have more people we consider family that are not our blood versus them actually yes, being our blood. I, I agree with that 100%. If... If, like, if they're on some fuck no shit, yeah, no matter the circumstance, like, if you, if this affects you in a negative way, and it keeps, like, they keep doing that, and they've proven that that's going to be the same pattern every time, and you have every, to change, you have every reason to cut them out of your life. There you go. Snip, snip. Okay, so I got a lot, of, well, not a lot, but, like, there's a lot of questions about the two YouTube videos that we deleted. I'm going to give you a little insider, okay, to influencing. This isn't for, like, all influencers, but, like, I know it's a big thing. If you are a girl and you're in like like lifestyle, it, honestly, if you're in anything, you're gonna want to have a high female audience, okay? And that's just you're a dude that's vice versa. Vice versa, okay? Like that's just like 
if I'm like on an IU Fitness, you know, like if we have like a two percent female audience, why is a like activewear brand gonna reach out to us and want to collaborate with us and like pay you if you can't like if you don't have if the you, audience if you don't have anyone to influence it? Like your job as a content creator is to influence people and like as like. For us doing fitness and lifestyle, our demographic is targeted towards women. Oh. Okay. Well, the camera like it's not recording. Yes, it is. Oh. The camera flaked out on us. Okay. But um, essentially, what we were talking about is like influencing. So, in the beginning, when we blew up, we like it was dancing. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. It wasn't our goal. It wasn't, it wasn't, we were like, oh, I want to do this. And there are people out there who are like, I want to become an influencer. I want to become a TikTok star. I want to become a yeah. famous YouTuber. So their content is already tailored to like the audience that they attended. Yes. And so with, when it came to what Anna and I were doing, we were just doing it to like, do it. Do it. And like, get engagement. And get engagement. And so, yes, we would show up the boots. Yes, we would do all that. But once we figured out, like, that's not what we wanted to do. That's not how... It's not the demographic we that wanted want. to have. Like, we, we changed it. We went 80. We literally changed it. Like, it was probably, like, I would say, like, Mar March? March into, like, April is when we really flipped the switch. And when we made those two videos... It was for, like, it, obviously it was for, like, to show you guys what we do, but at the same time, like, also part of it was just for engagement. And so we deleted them because I was on the... It was predominantly male, and like it also hit the wrong audience. Too. Well, yeah, yeah it hit so. the wrong audience. We're also like we were just being over sexualized in that aspect as well. So like making that change, like regardless if I make a, if I make a workout video and I'm showing you RDLs from behind, it's not going to reach women. Also, it's just not, like, a great way to, like, even show the proper form, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, you think about it from those, like, aspects. So, we just kind of did a 180. We were like, hold up. That's not what we want to do. That's not the audience we want to attract. And we changed it. And I feel like ever since, we've been doing really fucking well. Because, yeah. y'all, it's, like, 75% female on this channel. So, like, yeah. So, we are doing great. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, you just you have to flip that switch if you if you want to take it seriously, like if you want to collaborate and you know just like really connect with people that you are trying to relate to. Like I'm not gonna relate to a dude, let alone an old man who's trying to over sexualize me. Like it's just not gonna happen. But, so, <laughs> also, so like also that that's, switch. Also that's like how you monetize your audience is if you want to make money off of social media, you're. Um, and your, your analytics need to match the demographic that you want to have, yeah. to put it simple. And I also want to give you all the little inside, inside scoop on social media. I genuinely feel that anybody can do it. Anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. People also if you want to, what you start, da, da, da. that's it's, another question that we got. There's like, okay, so these, the, I, I got this. I heard this from somebody else on like YouTube, but th these are literally the four things that you need if you're trying to be successful off of social media. Consistency. Um, hopefully this battery does not die on us because that will suck. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. Is it good? Like, is it? Yes. Can you see us? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, well, I literally told Anna that we needed to get more batteries for this camera. And guess what? The battery is exhausted. Bogus as fuck. Hopefully the quality still is okay. Do you want to double check? Hopefully the quality is you okay. You can see me. Okay, so where I was left off, I was like, there's four things consistency so you need to be posting like if you're not consistent what well, people aren't gonna want to like stay engaged stay engaged especially, especially when you're first starting with one to two times a day probably yeah or at least on tiktok because tiktok is like such a huge platform people post multiple tiktoks a day like you need to be at least posting like once or twice a day another thing is and then once you grow your audience it can be lesser because people will always come back you know what i mean because they like you mm -hmm. another thing is quality the quality of your content now in the beginning like my like the quality of my content wasn't the best but it needs to be good enough for people to still want to like watch it you know what yeah. i mean another thing is community building a community building people that you connect with and that you like like you guys can relate to each other or grow together or it's like like if you have like a knitting tiktok account and you just 
you know, like say, hey, we're going to knit this two week and then the creator posts a video every single day about their progress and then you like try to, like, yeah, weird example, but like you get the point. No, and that's like where consistency comes in because you will, as you post, you'll consist, you'll bring in an audience that you start to build a community with. And then the last thing is like, what makes you different? Like, what makes you stand out? And like, that may be your niche. Like, if you're funny and you're just funny, you're gonna stand out because the things that you say, the things that you do, the way that you even look. I mean, it's just social media is so crazy. Like, honestly, said, anybody can do it. Anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. But I really want to put emphasis on like what makes you different because. Right now, like, social media is extremely oversaturated and, like, it's even with Lexi and I, when we first started, like, when brands would reach out and stuff like that, we wouldn't know what to charge, you know? We wouldn't know based off of our analytics and our engagement and all that, like, we just didn't know any aspect to consider. So if you are considering it, watch YouTube videos, get Do your research because honestly, like, the population of, like, social media, like, make sure you educate yourself and just be knowledgeable of like your worth online i would also advise make sure it make sure your platforms kind of like correlate you know like if you have a million followers on tiktok be well-rounded yeah and then you be have like on all four on fourth k on instagram like when a brand looks at that they're gonna be like okay someone said how do you deal with harassment when you're by yourselves or together i have a taser <laughs> I feel like I've never dealt with like harassment by myself. No, but we have together and so we have handle it really well. I'm gonna call someone out if I have an issue. I feel like people are stunned by that. People just think that they're just walk by like, God, we, you say something, do something, whatever. If I'm uncomfortable, I will let you know and I will tell you that I'm fucking uncomfortable and you need to back the fuck off. Mm -hmm. How do you balance a so social life, gym, friends, relationships, etc.? I would say scheduling and as Lexi mentioned that will be like our next video like it's, I would say for me it's like I plan my days out I, I plan my week out every Sunday and then I plan my days out like the day of or the day before and then I literally make a to-do list in my notes app so that I can like check off like exactly when I get something done regardless if it's in my planner already twice for the week and yeah. for the day yeah I would say planning is what I mean I feel like right now like I'm kind of been struggling just to balance everything just because you know some cat like some areas of stuff are heavier than others but at the same time like as long as you like plan out the stuff that you have to do in like a timely manner you will have to yeah and right? also just like prioritize you know yeah like if, if you have all the schoolwork and you be going out here with your friends every single night and then it's like oh it's due and yeah. you don't have it done you got to think about why okay yeah. Yeah. I saw I had a question about like fitness goals, what the fitness goal of mine was. Um, I hope one day I can do a pull up. I don't think it's gonna be within the next year or two. Um, but I hope one day I can do a pull up. I, I wanna I can pull do a push up. Too. I've been trying to practice that. Pull up like a full like actually I think I can I can do pu I can do push ups now. I've been I've been working on my upper body a lot. I can do push ups. One of my goals is to like be like really confident in my squats um but i also but also at the same time like i just feel like sometimes squatting just isn't for people it's not like there's so it's much for everybody there's so much stigma in the gym that like someone just needs to come in and be like super authentic be like hey you don't need to do this if it doesn't work for you da, da, da. and like jp coaching on tiktok does a really good job with that because he, he talks about like that. He talks he about made, like those like movements like yeah. squatting, deadlifting. He made like, a all that. video about squatting and like your de like online. It's like oh if you don't go ass to grass, like if your bum you're doesn't wrong. literally hit the floor, you you don't have good form. You're not doing it right. First of all, if you have a long femur or if you're just tall in general, you're not gonna get down that bar. If your hip mobility, like even with stretching isn't great due to genetics, you're not gonna get down that far. So when you see people online, like, sorry, I'm like not trying to be heated about this, but like when you see people online and they're doing squats and they're, you know, have a really good form, ass to grass, like I mentioned, like that might not be the case for you because it's certainly not for me. Lexi and I both have longer femurs. I mean, our hip mobility is decent, but I've torn my ACL, my meniscus, my PT band, like, we have really bad knees genetically and yeah, we had like all good it's 
a lot more exhausting in sense, honestly, other progress that I could have in the gym. Because if I squat one day, I might need one to two, maybe even three rest days. And it just like stunts my workout split and I'm just like so like the like cons of it are so much like, more like JP coaching said there are like other movements that will maximize like efficiency in the gym than like some core movements yeah that like maybe like I need to say do, that you need because yeah. you do not need I can do okay guys that concludes our twin talk it wasn't I feel like we did okay pretty much just want to update y'all anything you guys were curious about answer go over again because we haven't had a chit chat since our first, or literally our first YouTube video. I literally, I hate the way I talk in that video so much. I literally sound like a brat. Um, we hope you guys enjoy. We hope this gave you a little insight on some things that y'all asked. That's gross. You burped how many times? Not like that. Not in the middle of talking. I'm sorry. Um, but we will have another one of these, and we will make it known on our Instagrams. And y'all can ask away, whatever you want to know, go ahead and, and ask. In general, too, if you have, like, questions, like, Lexi and I literally go through our DMs all the time. We, we do. girlies, like, I will have, like, I have, like, consistent conversations with, like, a lot of you throughout yes. just literally the day, every single day or every single week. Like, do I love talking with you guys. Well, we so. both do. We both do. Yeah. So. Yeah, reach out if y'all just got a question, you know, maybe that's a little bit more personal. You don't want it to be said on the internet. Just about, like, fitness or anything in general, reach out because mm -hmm. we got y'all. And yeah. we will respond. Yes. Because, like, I be, I try to respond to people. I really do on TikTok just, and everything on Instagram. I do. Yeah. I just, we just both really enjoy engaging with you guys. I'm tired. Me too. I am going to read my book. You guys, I got a guitar, so I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> Wait, can I read, um, Verity? Verity? If you're actually going to read it. I'm actually going to read it. I can't. I did not like to Spanish love deception, so I, I See, it. I, like, didn't know where Anna you were didn't at, know. I'm didn't deep didn't... in the rabbit hole, so... Anna didn't know where to, like, put me. Like, don't get me wrong. I have my fair share of Wattpad. Like, I have my fucking fair share. But, like, she started me off with the... The love hypothesis, which I think was a good start, but then it just went to the Spanish love deception, and I low key feel like that was but a it step was, down. But it was a slow burn. I, you said Verity was really good. Yeah, I know Colleen Hoover is like super. Wait, true. isn't it? It ends with us making a movie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's in production. They be talking about they want to make um, Tobias. Yes. Stop. Since I heard, you hope you guys enjoyed this new series that we started next week's video will be a little bit more upbeat this one's a little laid back chit chat catch up hope you guys ate some grub with us because obviously i mean actually you know what honestly if you had to wait till dinner time so that you could eat with us because we ate pretty fast low key but like i it makes, I was so, it makes me so hungry to sit and watch like okay i love watching mukbangs late at night like people eat like seafood boils and like the boil I eggs, the, the boil love sauce the love sauce or love like sauce. even like when i'm like craving like food like when i'm craving alfredo or like baked mac and cheese i'll literally look up like baked mac and cheese mukbang yeah like, alfredo but mukbang. i hate it too at the same time because i don't want to eat at some point though like when i eat though then i get grossed out i'm like why did i watch that yeah <laughs> we love you guys thank also you. thank you thank you for 95k and no i think we're at 96 i know Oh, but I just wanted to say thank oh. you for both because I feel like that it like oh, happened God. as we were uploading last week's video So we didn't get to like verbally say thank you, but like like it's people gotta personal. like you for you You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so um, Yeah, we just wanted to say we appreciate y'all and we appreciate the love and the support and the communication So we'll see you guys next week. Can I please have a drink your water? No <laughs> Okay, we see y'all later, okay?